listen to the crickets, the hoot owls, a frog down by the pond, and a dog up at the next farm. Listen to the sounds of the morning, very, very early morning. So early, in fact, the sun isn't even up yet. And this morning, we hear a new sound. It tells us something exciting happened during the night. Some brand new pigs were born. And here's what we'll be right now, exploring his new home. His name is, well, actually, he doesn't have a name yet. For the moment, he's still just a little pig. But as you'll see, he isn't any ordinary pig. Who am I? Where am I? I've never been here before. I've never been anywhere before. It's all so strange. But I like it, I think. Where's Papa going with that axe? Out to the hothouse. I'm picking one last night. I don't see why he needs an axe. Well, one of the pigs is around. It's very small. So your father's decided to do away with it. I've got to stop him. Papa can't kill just because it's smaller than the others. Stop, Fern. Don't yell. Your father's right. The pig will probably die anyway. Papa, please don't kill it. It's unfair. Fern, I know more about raising a litter of pigs than you do. Wiggling makes trouble. But it's unfair! He couldn't help being born small, could he? Fern! John! Oh, oh all right. I'll like to get him for a little while. Thank you, Papa. You can start him on a bottle, like a baby. I'll go look for him. What's going on? What's Fern doing over there? It's just a really guest for breakfast today, Avery. In fact, for a little while, she's been raising that pig. You tell that miserable thing a pig? He's nothing but a runt. I'm now to need breakfast, Avery. It must be along about half an hour. I'm going to have such a good time with this little pig. Can I wake you up? No, I'm listening to pigs in early life and time to work for injustice. Now come on, continue. Fern, honey, I found a baby nursery bottle and a rubber nipple. I'll pour some more milk in it for you. Bring your pig in and give me some breakfast. Say, what's his name anyway? Why, I don't know. Hurry along now. Hmm. My very own pig. Now I have to name you. A perfect name for a perfect pig. Let's see. Hmm. Fred, that's a good name. Not for you. Um, Clarence? No, you don't look like a Clarence. Uh, Maximilian? Because you're worth a million to me? Maybe I'm trying too hard. Let's see. Warren, Willie, Wilbur, William. Wait a minute. That's it. Wilbur. Wilbur. What a beautiful name. I'm coming! I mean, we're coming! Fern and Wilbur! Wilbur. Fern loved Wilbur more than anything. Every morning, as soon as she got up, she warmed up his milk, tied his bib on, and warmed up his bottle for him. After breakfast, Wilbur always walked down the road with Fern and waited with her until her bus came. Now you be a good boy until I get home. There's the bus. I better get going now. I'll see you this afternoon. Coming! Every day was a happy day for Wilbur, and every night was peaceful. He was very content living with Fern and the Arable family. I'm gonna love it here. Wilbur? No longer was Wilbur a runt. He was growing each and every day, and he was becoming quite the specimen of a pig. I chalk it up to good, clean living. Supper time, Wilbur. And to good, fattening food. Okay, pig, it's time to graduate the slops. Skim mills, potato skins, leftover sandwiches, and marmalade jerky. Before long, Wilbur was five weeks old. I think it's time for a birthday party. He was big. Now let them call me a runt. And strong. Anyone for arm wrestling? And healthy. Look at the pink in these cheeks. And he was ready to be sold. For a fair price. We sold? No, Papa, no, you can't sell him. You just can't. He's eating too much. I can't afford to keep feeding him. I've already sold Wilbur's ten brothers and sisters. But Wilbur, Wilbur. Listen, everybody. I have a suggestion. Why don't we call this up for now? You're out home or sometimes raising the 
if Wilbur goes there to live, you can walk down the road and visit him any time you like. Oh, yes! Yes! Please, Papa, please! You know, that's not a bad idea, Martha. Come on, let's leave Uncle Homer and call. Can Wilbur come too? Sure, why not? Maybe we'll let him make a phone call himself. That's not funny, you know. He can talk. Wilbur, what an imagination. Wilbur Zuckerman, I want to know where you plan to keep this pig. Go ahead over here in the barn, Edith. There be both there and patch with a piece of vengeance coming down. Sure thing, Mr. Zuckerman. I'll select this staff so you can't get any where the cows are. Well, I hope this pig's having more trouble than it's worth. No, I couldn't turn down Fern, could I? She seems so desperate. Anyway, she only has six dollars for it. When that pig becomes big enough to slaughter, we worth a lot of six dollars. Ugh, dirt and spider webs. Perfect for a pig. Uncle Homer! Aunt Edith! Here they are. This is Wilbur. Oh, he has a name, does he? All finished, Mrs. Zuckerman. Well, here's our new boarder. For honey, if you think kind of peaches and sour, you can come in and have this with us. Okay, thanks, but I'm gonna stay with Wilbur just for a little bit until he gets used to his surroundings. It's very nice here, Wilbur. And I can come visit you almost every single day. Well, I'd better get going now. I'll see you later. The barn is big, and old, I'll bet. I like the smell. Cows, manure, horses, ducks. It's a peaceful smell. It smells like nothing bad could ever happen again in the world. Friend was right. I am gonna like it here. see one gander. You introduced me to three. No, no, no. We tend to repeat, repeat, repeat ourselves. So, do you have a name besides Kate? Uh, yes, it's Wilbur. Wilbur. That's a pretty tacky name, if you ask me. Well, nobody, nobody, nobody asked you. Who was that? Templeton, the rat. In person. Well, I will admit it's nice to have a pig around the place again. I haven't had delicious leftover slops in an age. But the slops will be for me. I'm sure you'll find it in your charitable little heart to share your food with dear old Templeton. Especially if I build a nest right here beside your trough. What's all the commotion in here? It's the old old sheep. Hello, little old man. We have a new resident. His name is Wilbur. Oh yeah, the pig. You've heard of me? We all heard the Zuckermans discussing you. They plan to keep you nice and comfortable. And fatten you up with delicious slops. Oh, I am gonna like it here. Just the same. We don't envy you. You know why they want to make you fat and tender, don't you? No, I, I don't. Now, 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 go learn soon enough. Learn what? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. Lamb, mind your manners. <laughs> nice to meet you, Wilbur. My pleasure, I'm sure. Well, I have eggs to have. I have trash piles to raid. Good, good, good night, Wilbur. The animals seem nice, I think. I'm not so sure about Templeton. And I'm trifle concerned about the old sheep's remark. You do know why they're fattening you up, don't you? Well, I don't. I'm very afraid to find out. Well, I won't be concerned concern myself too much now. I'm much too tired. Go to sleep, Wilbur. Go to sleep, little pig. Breakfast. Lots of good leftovers for today. A meal fit for a pig. What's wrong with you? It looks like we have a sick pig here. Mr. Zuckerman, come out to the barn. The food looks good. But I don't want food. I want love. I want a friend. I want someone to play with me. Do you want a friend, Wilbur? I'll be a friend to you. I watched you all night and I like you. What was that? Who said that? I think this will do the trick, Larvie. 
Now, he won't like this medicine, so you hold him down and I'll feed it to him. Come on, boy. This is so for molasses. It'll cure what ails you. Dose him up, Mr. Zuckerman. There, that wasn't so bad, was it? Super Corby, the pig will be well in no time. Will the party that just made themselves known please come out? Especially if you want to be my friend. Salutations! Oh, hello, what are salutations? It's a fancy way of saying hello. Oh, well, salutations to you too. What's your name? Can I have your name? My name is Charlotte. Charlotte what? Charlotte A. Cativa. I'm a spider. Oh, I think you're beautiful. Thank you. I think your web's beautiful too. Oh, it's my home. I know it looks fragile, but it's actually very strong. It protects me and I trap my food in it. Well, now that I've made a friend, I think my appetite has been restored. Care to join me? Oh, no thank you. My food is waiting for me on the other side of the web. What are you having? A fly. I caught it this morning. You eat flies? And bugs. Actually, I drink their blood. Ugh! I can't help it. It's the way I'm made. Besides, if I didn't catch insects and eat them, there would soon be so many that they'd destroy the earth, wipe out everything. Well, I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have my breakfast. Well, I've made a new friend, but Charlotte is uh, brutal, I think, and bloodthirsty. How can I be friends with her, even though she is beautiful and wise, it seems? Wilbur was suffering the doubts and fears that often go along with finding a new friend. But as the days passed by, he slowly discovered that Charlotte had a kind heart and that she was loyal and true. Spring soon became summer, and the early days of summer on a farm are the happiest and fairest of the year. Lilacs and apple blossoms bloom, the days grow warm and soft, and now that school was over, Fern could visit the barn almost every day. Good morning, Lauren. I brought you a little piece of pie outside down the cave. Can I stay and visit for a little while? Attention everyone, I have an announcement to make. After four weeks of unremitting effort on the part of our friend, the Goose, the goslings have arrived. And here comes the proud mother and her gosling now. Thank you, Miss And the father is also to be congratulated. We're pleased we can be, be, be. How many goslings are there? Only one. I thought there were two eggs. What happened to the other egg? It didn't happen. It was a dove, I guess. Can I have it? Certainly, certainly, certainly. And it's your nasty collection. Imagine wanting an old rotten egg. A rat is a rat. But, my friends, let's hope that egg never breaks. A rotten egg is a regular stink bomb. Don't worry, I won't break it. I handle stuff like this all the time. I'll just put it right here, beside the truck with my other things. Some good news, Wilbur. Well, Homer seems to be glad they're putting on weight. Sure they are. And you know why, don't you? You asked me that once before, but you never told me why. Now, 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 He has to know sometime. You know what? Wilbur, I don't like to spread bad news, but they're fattening up because they're going to kill you. They're going to what? Kill you. Turn into smoked bacon and ham. It'll happen when the weather turns cold. It's a regular conspiracy. But I don't want to die. I want to live and hang with my friends. I want to see the beautiful sun and lay in the beautiful air. Well, you're certainly making a beautiful noise. But I don't want to die. Quiet down, Wilbur. You shall not die. What do you mean? Who's going to save you? I am. How are you going to do that? I'm afraid that remains to be seen. Sir, in here, Avery. Mother's going to get you. Go to your son. All right. Bye, everybody, and thank you, Charlotte. Yes. Whatever it is you're going to do to save Wilbur. Charlotte? The spider over there. It's tremendous. Leave it alone. That's a fucking spider. I'm going to capture it. Stop it, Avery. Let's go, Spur. Stop it. Stop it, I say. Help. I warned you, Avery. That's unfair. You were Wilbur getting up on me. What's that smell? I think you broke a rotten egg. Good night. What a sweet Let me out of here. I don't want an egg! Well, I'm glad that's over. Yes, okay. sure the smell will go away soon. Charlotte, were you serious when you said you were going to save me? I've never been more serious in my life. How are you going to do it? Well, 
I'm not really sure, but I want you to get plenty of sleep and stop worrying. Okay. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Wilbur. What to do, what to do. I promised I'd save his life, and I'm determined to keep that promise, but how? Wait a minute! The way to save Wilbur is to play a trick on Zuckerman. If I could fool a bug, I can certainly fool a man. People are not as smart as bugs. Of course, that's it! This may not be easy, but it must be done. First, I tear out a section of the web and leave open a space in the middle. Next, I shall weave new threads to take the place of the old ones I removed. Swim, spin around, slit out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Adderall, attach. Pay out the line. Descend. Easy now. That's it. Back up. Complete the curve. Good! The message is spun. I come to an end. The job that I've done, I've done it all for my friend. Some pig. Not bad, old girl, for the first time around, but it was quite exhausting. I better catch a little nap before daybreak. Oh, oh no! Oh. That was a terrible dream. There were men coming after me with guns and knives to come take me away. Here you go, pig. Breakfast. Leftover pancakes, stale toast, absolutely de... de What's that? I'm seeing things. Mr. Zuckerman, come out to the pig pen, quick! What did he see? There's nothing in here but me. That's it. He, he saw me. He sees that I'm big and healthy and ready to be made into ham. Oh God, I just know it. They're coming out here right now with guns and knives. They're going to take me away. What am I going to do? That's it. The fence is literally patched up. There's probably still a hole in it. I have to do it. I have to get away. It's the only way. But first, some sustenance. Oh, all right. Now I'm ready. He'll never take me alive. Charge! What was that? Wilbur, where are you? I'm free! Now, what could be so important that you drag me after before I finish? You'll see, Mr. Zuckerman. You'll see. All I can see is the pig's not here. What? Look up there on the chimney there. He's escaped. You just have to gather eggs. Maybe she can head off. Let's go. But look at the spider web. No time right now. Gotta catch the pig. Eat it. Pig's out. Run back this way. Pig's out. Oh no. What all the fuss? This racket's killing my ears. There's so much noise, noise, and more. The gossip can't sleep. <laughs> Him. If Wilbur does escape, he'll never stand a chance on the outside world. So if you run through here again, we've got to stop him. Oh, get set. Here he comes. That's it. I found a hole in the fence. Lead straight to the woods. Thank you, everybody, for all your... What's this? Even my friends have turned against me? That's it. I'll struggle my way to the butcher block. I won't be bacon for anybody. Mr. Zuckerman, Mrs. Zuckerman, look, this is what I want to show you. A miracle has happened on this farm. A miracle. I don't believe it. So pig. It's clear we have no ordinary pig. It seems to me we have no ordinary spider. Oh no, it's the pig that's unusual. Ian, call the minister and tell him about this miracle. Then call the arables. Hurry. No, Larry. No, all along this pig of ours was an extra good one. He's quite a pig. I'd say he's some pig. <laughs> Well, let's hurry and get our tourism. in. I'm sure we'll have lots of visitors when the word leaks out. Charlotte, you did it! You did it! Well, it seems to have worked, at least for the present, but if we're going to save Wilbur's life, I'll have to write some more words on the web, and I need new ideas. Any suggestions? How about cake supreme? No good. It sounds like a fancy dessert. Hmm. How about terrific, terrific, terrific? Mm, cut that down to one terrific, and it might do very nicely. I think it'll impress Zuckerman. Anybody here know how to spell terrific? Hmm, I think it's T double E double R double R double I double F double I double C C C C C. What kind of acrobat do you think I am? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll spell the word the best I can. Look, here comes Templeton. Maybe he can help us with the project. Templeton only helps himself. What's up? Did you see the message in the web? I was there out this morning. It's no big deal. It was a big deal to Zuckerman, and now Charlotte needs new ideas. When you go to the dump, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte can copy the words. I'll help save Wilbur's life. Let him die. I should worry. 
You'll worry next winter when Bloober's dead and nobody comes down here with a nice pal spot. I'll bring back a magazine clipping. Thanks. The meeting is adjourned. Tonight, I will tear my love apart and write terrific. Now, go in the yard and lie in the sun, Loper. I was up all night. I need some rest. Okay, Charlotte. Good night. As the day went on, the news about the words in Charlotte's Web spread throughout the county. People came from miles around to see the words in Charlotte's Web. News of the wonderful pig spread clear up into the hills where the farmers talk about the miraculous events on the Zuckerman farm. Charlotte knew there would be even more visitors the next day, so that night, while the other creatures slept, she began to work on her web. Swing, spinnerets, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Spinning and weaving, the spider began to work on the new letters. Again, she talked to herself as so to cheer herself on. Attach, pay out the line. Well, girl, steady. Now for the R. On through the night, the spider worked out her difficult task. It was nearly morning when she finally finished. The message is fun. I've come to an end. The job that I've done, I've done it all for my friend. She then ate a small book she was saving, and after that, she fell asleep. <sighs> I can't believe I spent the whole day and night outside in the sun. Well, it is very nice, especially in the summer. <laughs> I'm afraid to look. I know it can't happen again. I don't put my eyes. Terrific! It did. It happened again. Terrific. Another miracle. Mr. Zuckerman, come quick. Good morning, Wilbur. Terrific! Hooray for Charlotte! She did again! Oh, she's still sleeping. It must have been a long night for her. Edith, roll the reporter on the weekly chronicle and tell him what happened. He may want to bring a photographer. Well, what do you know? Here's the plainest day. It's terrific. What do you know? Did it happen again? Another miracle. Well, we can have bridges all over the place. I don't know where we put them. Yesterday, the, the driveway was practically full of cars and trucks. We parked the cars in the open field. Avery and I will learn forever. Hooray! I'll be the captain of the deck of the Does this mean you're not going to kill Wolver, Uncle Homer? Who said anything about killing him? Well, you know, conspiracy. Conspiracy? Where did she get a word like that? I, the old sheep. Oh, I mean, I guess I picked it up from somewhere. Wilbur is safe for now, Fern, as long as he's attracting all his attention. Come on, Larry, work today. Terrific pig. Fern, your Aunt Edith is doing lots of baking for the visitors today. Let's go help her. Can't I stay? I think you spend too much time around these animals. You should play with children your own age, like Tommy Watson. Oh, mother. Or Freddie Johnson. Yuck. Or Henry Fussy. Henry Fussy. Let's go. All right. Bye, Wilbur. Bye, Charlotte. Time passes. You spread quickly around the town about the miraculous events at the Zuckerman Farm. Hi. Good morning, Wilbur. Good morning. Oh, Charlotte, everybody's so excited about the new word. They're expecting more visitors today. Morning, morning, morning. Did you see Charlotte's new word? Of course, of course, of course. Terrific was my idea, remember? Wilbur, is all this, all this attention going to go into your head and make you step up? No, fame will never spoil me. <laughs> anyway, you still have to worry about your future. Your life isn't secure yet. I know, but with friends like you guys, we can tackle anything. Friendship is one of the most important things in the world. You better believe it, Buster. And you better not forget the friendship of old Templeton, who just happened to be at the dump all night, looking for words to save you. Here you go. It's from an empty package of soap flakes. With new radiant action. Wilbur, run around. I want to see you in action to see if you're radiant. Now do come here. Oh. Well, it may not be radiant, but it's interesting. Well, I feel radiant. I really do. Then radiant you shall be. Sorry, pig. I got so excited this morning, I forgot to give you your slaps. Mrs. Zuckerman even threw, threw in a whole piece of fresh apple strudel she baked for the visitors. That's what you get for being such a terrific pig. Oh yes, and Mr. Zuckerman was in talking about taking you to the county fair, if all the excitement continues. Did you hear that, everybody? The county fair! That way now we get to live for at least another month! And maybe, maybe, maybe longer. Maybe you live in a living. Charlotte, won't you come with me to the fair? Oh, I don't know. The fair comes at such a bad time for me. That's when I'll be making my egg sack and filling it with eggs. We could lay your eggs at the fair. 
Nobody's going to the fair yet. Livy just said they were thinking about taking you if the excitement continues. Well, well that needs more new words, so I better get a start on one right away. Now everybody, stand in front of me so the others won't notice I'm running if they come back before I finish. Swing and spinner, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better thread. I will soon have to go to the fair too. Somebody, somebody, somebody has to do general work in my I'm staying right here. I haven't slightest interest in fairs. That's because we never been to one. A fair is a rat's paradise. Everybody still is suited to fair. Popcorn, frozen custard, candy apples. Stop. It's enough you've twisted my whiskers, I'll go. Attack! Ascend! Repeat! Charlotte's working fast, fast, fast. I heard you all about the hang of it now. Look, here comes some visitors. It looks like a reporter or a photographer. Hurry, 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 Charlotte. Almost finished. Just have to cross the final T over to the right. They're almost here. Finished! We're at this point, everybody. Here we are. Make room for the reporter and photographer of the weekly cover. Can I have my picture taken with Wilbur? Sure, young lady. Say cheese. Cheese? Cheese! Now you, Mr. Zuckerman. Let me get my wife a hat in, too. Eat it. Flirting. Look how big Wilbur's gotten. You can nice up to hang bacon with some time to kill that big one. Wilbur, wake up! Wake up! Well, that pig is terrific, just like it says in the web. But, Mr. Zuckerman, that's not what it says in the web. Radiant! Radiant. Radiant. Well, sir, that does it. I have an announcement that you can print in the newspaper. I'm going to enter this pig in the county fair. That's very good. Oh, Charlotte, you did it! You did it! Well, we got you to the fair, but that's only half the battle. Won't you come with to the fair with me, please, Charlotte? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Now, may I ask everyone to kindly leave? This day has been particularly exhausting, and I must have a little rest. Of course, Charlotte. I'll admit you are in a little peace and quiet. Me, 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 too. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Good night, Charlotte. Ah, I'm suddenly very tired. I know I won't be able to help Wilbur much longer. I'll have to lay my eggs to that I want them to hatch here in the barn where it's warm and safe. But I'll take my chances. I will go to the fair with Wilbur. People will be expecting to see a word in the web, and it may help him win that blue ribbon. And his whole future, if he has a future at all, totally depends on what happens at the fair. The days of summer drifted on, but before long, summer was almost gone. The end of summer brings many things, late harvesting, thoughts of school, and the county fair! Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, ride the giant Ferris wheel. Only 10 cents, one thin dime. You can see the whole county from the top of that Ferris wheel. Knocked out three clock after three regulation baseballs, and you're a winner every time! with the straw around here, Mrs. Zuckerman. That would bring a little more to make Wilbur comfortable. Come on over here, John. Come on, let me get some more to stop on there. Come on, you're ready to do it. Please, will the owner of a Pontiac car, license H2439, please move your car away from the fire shed? What do you mean? Can I have some money? Can I too? I'm going to win a doll. I'm going to crash a jet plane into another one. Here, don't be gone too long. All right, Scrub, you're real good on you to keep signing that blue ribbon tomorrow. Come on, Come back, Sue. We'll leave him a little while. Tomorrow's a good day. Okay, Papa. I don't know if you want to stop, it's going to make you sick to your stomach. Can you fall a little sleep to hang on tight, hear me? And don't get lost. Don't get dirty. Don't get overheated. Watch out. 
ce a făcut Nicolae Ches? Here's the sign for Wilbur's crate, Mr. Zuckerman. Thanks, Larry. We'll put it up right here so everybody knows this is the pig they've been hearing about. If we're all done for the time being, I might head down to the moonway to meet some of my friends. Sure thing, Larry. Maybe I'll even win one of those Navajo blankets I've been hearing about. It's nice to get it here, isn't it? Cornelius is as kids. Let's look at the new chapters, Edith. Sure. Let me just finish showing my folder. Let me see. Marco, let's you and I have a look at the I thought they'd never leave. It's easier for Ack to hide in a barn than out in the open like this. Oh, please bring me back over to Templeton. I'll do what I can. If I don't write something, I'm sure we'll, we'll have a very difficult time winning that blue ribbon. He's a cute little pig. And smart. But I'm sure there will be bigger pigs here. And even better looking ones. Hi there. May I have your name? No name, just call me Uncle. Very well, Uncle. You're rather large. Are you a spring pig? Sure, I'm a spring pig. What do you think I was? Spring chicken? Ha <laughs> ha. That was a good one, sister. Mildly funny. I've heard funnier ones, though. What are you doing over here? Yeah, hey, just over my pen. Sorry, you know. Well, it's got the competition. Well, no competition here. When I think I've got that competition all sewed up. But I will kneel about it. Uh -huh. yes. Uncle, where are you, Uncle? Well, better be getting back. Gotta get nice and spicy for the guys that come to see me. Go on, Oh, hi, Charlotte. Where is everybody? Off to see the fair. Did I hear you talking to someone? A pig that's staying next door. Oh, was he better than me? I mean, bigger? I'm afraid he's much bigger. Oh, no. Oh, but don't worry. He has the most unattractive personality. Oh, he might be hard to beat on the account of his size and weight, but with me helping you, it can be done. Well, here's a good-looking fellow. Zickerman's famous pig. Look at his silky white coat and his nice curly tail. I think he's the finest pig we've seen today. Let's go look over there, thank you. I think I've heard of you. Aren't you that radiant pig who's supposed to be terrific? Look over at this pig, he's gigantic. And he seems to be very confident. I think he may get that blue ribbon after all. Well, let's go check out the horse and see if we can pick a winner over there. Oh, Charlotte, did you hear that? Chin up, young friend. Those weren't the judges, they're merely spectators. The judges are the ones who count. Well, here's your order. I hope you brought a good one. This is the last word I shall ever write. What do you mean? Templeton, my eyes seem to be going. I'm having trouble reading this. What's the word? Humble. H-U-M-B-L-E. Humble has two meanings. It means not proud, and it means close to the ground. That's Wilbur all over. <laughs> well, I hope you're satisfied. I don't intend to spend all my time delivering papers. I came to this fair to enjoy myself. You've been very helpful, Templeton. You may run along now. I'm going to make a night of it. Bill she was right. This fair is a rat's paradise. What eating, what drinking. Bye-bye, my humble Wilbur. Fare thee well, Charlotte, you old schemer. This is going to be a night to remember in a rat's life. Charlotte, were you serious when you said that was going to be your last word? Shh! What, Charlotte? That's perfect. Good for you, Lurpy. Just lucky, that's all. Hey, yeah. everybody. Look at what Lurpy won. What is it, Lurpy? A genuine Navajo blanket. Well, congratulations. I do wonder where Fern is. Yeah, it should be long. Well, I suppose we ought to think back at home. Will the pig be okay? Sure, Avery. They've been night watchmen who got to the animals out to the people eat. He'll be fine. Get lots of sleep, Wilbur. You'll just come around first thing in the morning. They may be get it before we do. Look at the fairy one, everybody! Well, it's a lucky day today. I just hope it's as lucky for Wilbur tomorrow. Sure, I've been worried. Don't worry. I met Henry Fussy, and he invited me to ride with him on the Ferris wheel. Henry Fussy! He even bought a ticket for me. I hope you aren't too worried about me. Not anymore, now that I know where you were. I'll be thinking about you tonight, Wilbur. Good luck and get some sleep. Wait, mother, wait, let me tell you about my Ferris wheel ride with Henry Fussy. One time we went to the very top and it looked like you could see the whole county. Or at least I guess it was the whole county. Wait, mother, wait for me. 
Vlad for my friend at the fair. Well, I better be getting to work. Charlotte, were you serious when you said this was going to be your last word? I think so. I don't have much strength left, and tonight I have another job to do. Is it for me? Is it something for me? No, it's something for me for a change. What is it? Tell me. I'll tell you in the morning. Oh, Charlotte, the fireworks. The fireworks were an important part of the fair. Charlotte, this is my first night away from home. And I'd never rather spend it with anyone else but you. Thank I never you. I feel lonely when I'm with you. That's very nice of you to say. Now go to sleep. Charlotte, if I don't win the blue ribbon and the worst happens, I'll never forget you. Thank you. Before long, Wilbur was asleep. Charlotte could tell by the sound of his breathing that he was sleeping peacefully in the straw. By now, the fair was quiet and the people were gone. It was a good time for Charlotte to get to work. Though she was very tired, she worked quickly, for yet she had another job to do. Before long, she finished writing in the web. The message is spun. I've come to an end. The job that I've done, I've done it all for my friend. After she had finished writing in the web, she moved on to another project. It carried her far into the night. And when she was finally finished, she was exhausted. So she fell into a deep, deep sleep. The first light of the next morning revealed the word in Charlotte's web. It's very early when the judges came around to determine the winners of the blue ribbon. sun slowly began to rise on the most important day of Wilbur's life. Oh, Charlotte, you've done it again! <sighs> Humble. It fits you perfectly. Hey, what's that? It looks like cotton candy. Did you do that? It's my egg sack. What's in there, eggs? 514 of them. You're having 514 children? If nothing happens, yes. Of course, they won't hatch until next spring. You don't seem very happy about this. Well, I guess I feel sad because I will never get to see my children. We'll all get to see them, Charlotte. What do you mean? Well, but I don't feel good at all. My eggs and I might not make it back to the barn. Charlotte, don't say that. Come now. It's your big day today, and I'm sure you'll win. What a night. <sighs> what a night. What feasting and carousing. A real gorge. I must have eaten the remains of 30 lunches. Oh, it was rich, my friends. Rich. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You'll probably have an attack of acute indigestion. Don't worry about me. Wilbur's the one you should be worried about. What do you mean? I got some bad news. As I came past the pig next door, the one who calls himself uncle, I noticed a blue ribbon on the front of his pen. That means he won first prize. Oh, no. It'll Zuckerman get to hankering for some fresh pork and smoked ham. I'll take the knife to you, my boy. Be still, Templeton. Don't pay any attention to him, Wilbur. I bet he's so scared he's going to faint again. <laughs> no, I won't. Whatever will happen, will happen. I may not live a long life, but I've lived a good one. And that's much more important. I'm not just going to care about myself anymore, like you do, Templeton. I'm sure he didn't even notice that Charlotte had made her egg sack. Egg sack? Up there. She's going to be a mother, for your information. And there are 514 eggs in that peachy little sack. Well, congratulations. This has been a night. I am sorry about the blue ribbon, Wilbur, but you're being very brave about it. Bravery is just one of the many things you've taught me, Charlotte. My friend. Look! Look, everybody! Look what it says in Charlotte's web! Humble! Humble. You sure to win that blue ribbon now. What is it, Avery? That pig over there has already won first prize. What? Have the judges been here already? Oh no, I can't believe Wilbur didn't win. It's not fair. He won just because he's fat. I'll bet the judges are fat too. Hold on here. What's everybody crying about? Edith, give the pig a buttermilk bath. But he didn't win. People are still gonna come by and see him and what's right on the web. Well, let's get busy. 
That's a spirit, Homer. I'll give him his breakfast. I'll hold him back here. Homer, you're an angry. How do you the area? Homer, I think our sign needs to be a little bit more prominent. What? Prominent means? We need to hear the you're also very prominent yourself, Avery. Attention, please, attention. We would like to ask as many of you as can to assemble in the livestock area where we are about to present a special award. A special award? It must be for the horses or the cows. When you arrive in the livestock area, we will ask you to report directly to the section where the pigs are located. Sounds like someone right here is going to get another special award. Yeah, that fat pig over there. Once you arrive there, please go to the pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman. The pig owned by Mr. Homer. Yes! We have no time to lose. Finish breathing, meet it. I'll go get a little more straw. I'll clean the cloth bubbles. Look at that, Looks fine. You look fine, you look fine. It's just a cow. All right. I'll finish. I'm going to put these things back on the shelf. Sorry. Good morning. Hello there. Is this Zuckerman Pig? Yes, indeed. There he is. That's the pig we've been hearing about. Zuckerman's famous pig. That's him. He looks like a prize winner to me. He ain't as big as that pig next door, but he's cleaner, and that's what I like. So do I. So do I. And he's humble, too, just like it says in that there spidey whip. That's a mighty fine pig you got there, Pooh. Thank you. Come in, girl. Come in, girl. Let's open it up a little, please. Thank you very much. Zuckerman. Pleased to meet you. Those of you who have any folks, don't worry, you'll get everything you need to hear. Testing, testing. Can everybody hear me? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present Mr. Homer Zuckerman's distinguished pig. <laughs> Many of you will recall when the writing first mysteriously appeared on the spider's web in Mr. Zuckerman's bar, calling all to the attention that this was some pig. Then, take the word to it, and look at him. He is. Then came the radiance, and finally today, the word humble. Whence came this mysterious rite? Well, the miracle has never been fully explained. We simply know we are dealing with supernatural forces here, and for that, we should feel grateful and proud. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your valuable time. On behalf of the governors of the fair, I take the honor of awarding a special prize of $25 to Mr. Homer Zuckerman, and this fancy ribbon, which far outshines any other blue ribbon. This terrific, this radiant, this humble pig. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention to the official awarding of the prizes, here's $25 to Mr. Zuckerman, and this handsome ribbon to the star attraction of our county fair. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, if you follow me, you'll be just in time for the first heat of today's harness races. Thank you, one and all, for your attendance at this historic award ceremony. We're mighty pleased with you, boy. Well, now that the excitement's died down, we gotta think about getting home. Homer, let's all celebrate the occasion by taking one last supper on the midway. Sounds good to me. Mothers, may I have 40 cents? It's my turn to take Henry on the Thursday. Thank you. Well, let's go. Henry Fussy. Imagine that. We were back on the Disney over. Where the river with pride, boy. I'm sorry, Wilbur. I was so distracted by Henry, I almost forgot to tell you how proud I am of you. From the very first day, I knew that you were some pig. Wait, Henry, wait for me! Let's go to the Ferris wheel together! Charlotte, are you all right? Yes. A little tired, perhaps, but I feel peaceful now, knowing that you'll live, Wilbur. Secure and safe. Charlotte, why have you done all this for me? I've never done anything for you. You've been my friend. That in itself is a tremendous thing. After all, what is life anyways? We're born, we live a little, we die. By helping you, perhaps, I was lifting up my life a trifle. Heaven knows anyone's life can stand a little of that. Charlotte, you've saved me. I would be glad to give my life to you. I'm sure you will. Well, we're going back to the barn today. Are you excited to go back, Charlotte? I will not be going back to the barn. Charlotte, what do you mean? I'm done for. In a day or two, I'll be dead. Charlotte? I'm so tired, I can't even crawl up to my egg sack. Charlotte, my dear friend! Come now, Wilbur, let's not make a scene. I shall not leave you, I shall stay! You can't, they won't let you. Besides, even if you did stay, there would be no one left to feed you. The fairgrounds will soon be empty and deserted. I have an idea. Templeton, Templeton, wake up, pay attention! 
Ten or right, catch a wink of any sleep. Sure is very real, and we'll be able to make it back to the farm. I'm sorry. I need you to go grab her exact for me. Please, Jonathan, go grab that exact. What do you think I am anyway, right? All trades? I'll make you a deal. If you go grab that exact for me, I'll give you first choice of all the slops in the shop as soon as Libby brings them out. You mean that? I promise. Cross my heart. All right. It's a deal. All right, now be very careful. I don't want a single one of those eggs harmed. Thank you. Charlotte, I will care for this dearly and protect you with my life. Now, Templeton, go back to the truck so you can make it back home, okay? You bet I'm going back now that I get first choice of everything in the truck. We'll take care of what we're getting. You take this out and I'll go get us right back. Martha, you burn Avery. Get in the truck. We'll be there in a minute. We better clean up a little. We don't want the governors of the fair thinking the prize-winning pig left a mess. Well, sir, it turned out to be a mighty fine fair. Mighty fine. The best one I've ever been to. The very best one. Come on, Wilbur. This will be a day you can tell your grandchildren about. Bye, Charlie. True friend. Goodbye, Wilbur. Thank you for saving my egg sack. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. Next day, as the Ferris wheel was being taken apart and the racehorses were being loaded into their vans and the entertainers were packing up their belongings and driving away in their trailers, Charlotte died. The fair was soon deserted. The sheds and buildings were empty and forlorn. The fields were littered with bottles and trash. Of the hundreds of people that had visited the fair, nobody knew that a gray spider had played the most important part of all. No one was with her when she died. Wilbur soon returned to his beloved barn. The animals were delighted with his success at the fair, but ever missed Charlotte very much. All throughout the fall and throughout the winter, Wilbur watched over the egg sack as though he were guarding his own children. Patiently, he waited the end of the winter and the coming of the little spiders. Oh good, Wilbur hasn't eaten his breakfast yet. Wilbur hasn't eaten anything in the past few days. He keeps waiting around in the yard for the eggs to hatch. Templeton, you live longer than eight laps. He wants to live forever. Again? Must be spring. Everything's sprouting. Including your stomach. They're here! They're here! Who's here? The eggs! They hatched! All 514 of them! They're climbing to where the breeze blows. Oh, they're floating away on little clouds of silk. Wait, won't you stay? I'm being deserted by Charlotte's children. There, 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 there. That's what they're all I know. But I just hoped. Never mind. Salutations! Who said that? Me! I'm over here! I'm over here! And I'm over here! The three of us are staying. We like this place, and we like you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. What are your names? Excuse me, are you trembling? Trembling with joy. Then my name is Joy. What was my mother's middle initial? A. Then my name's RNA. I need a name too. Pick one after me. Not too fancy and not too dumb. Um, how about Nellie? Fine, I like that very much. Joy, Renea, Nellie, welcome to your new home. Thank you, thank you very much. Where'd you get that handsome ribbon you're wearing? Oh, well, it's a long story. But for now, I'm going to take the ribbon off. What? 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 That's crazy. I'm going to put this ribbon where it rightfully belongs. Templeton, can you please put the ribbon up on the hook where, uh, where Charlotte's web used to be? Another favor? The last one, I promise. I know. Till the next one. I hereby dedicate this ribbon to the memory of Charlotte, our dear friend. Very thoughtful, Wilbur. None of us will ever, ever, ever forget it. I will love Charlotte's grandchildren and children very dearly, but she will always have a special place in my heart. She was in a class of her own. It is very rare that we come across someone who is a dear friend and a wonderful writer. Charlotte was both.